Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we're gonna be doing a car freshies tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to add cardstock as a design element to your car freshies. And we're gonna do it using just some simple round cookie cutters and these really super cute round cardstock designs. And I love the look of these. I think they're just so professional looking. I think they're gonna make great gifts for Mother's Day. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't seen my last Car Freshy videos, I'm gonna link those down below. And if you've never made these before, those videos are a great place to start. So I'm gonna have all the products that you see in this video listed and linked down below. You might even find some discount codes for you there as well. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. you guys so today I'm going to show you how to use cardstock for your car freshies as like a decorative element I think these look so cute I love all the different design ideas you could do for these and it's really easy to do I've already designed a few different um, designs for this idea if you want to use the same designs that I've created here you could purchase them on my website which I will have listed down below the file that I created it comes with nine different designs that are already ready to go. You just load them into Cricut Design Space and then print and cut them if you want to use them in the same way we're using them today or you could use them for whatever you want. Anyway, so you're just going to get these uploaded to Cricut Design Space. Um, and if you guys didn't want to use these designs, obviously you could find a bunch on Etsy or you could design your own. Um, and you could do different shapes as well, I suppose. I just wanted to do these circle designs because I think they look really simple and modern and super cute. So anyway, once we get these uploaded to Cricut Design Space, you're going to want to size them to fit the particular size shape that you're using. In this case, I'm using three inch cookie cutters to create my car freshies. So I'm going to size my cardstock rounds at 2.7 inches around, okay? So when you get these files into Cricut Design Space, they're gonna be way big. You're just gonna select them one by one and resize them to 2.7 by 2.7. If you want more of your car freshie to show around your cardstock round, then you would size them to be you know, even smaller, obviously. So once we've got these sized, the size that we want, I'm just going to send them to my printer to start the print and cut process. For this project, we're using just regular lightweight cardstock with 8.5 by 11 inch sheets. So just like standard letter size cardstock. Um, and when I go to print these, you want to make sure that you use the system dialog on your printer and that you have the bleed setting on. When we go to the system dialog box, we're going to optimize our print settings. So that may look different for you based on your printer, but for mine, I select photo printing. For the photo paper type, I select the um, matte option and then the size of paper that we're using. And then I change the print quality to high. Um, in this video, I was kind of messing around, so ignore what I just did there. Um, but anyway, that's what you want to do. And then click print. And after we get this printed through our computer, we're going to put it on our cutting mat. We're going to select the cardstock option for our cutter, and we are going to scan and then cut them to get perfect, beautiful circles for our car freshies. So 
once we've got our cardstock designs cut out and ready to go, I'm going to show you guys how I make the freshies. Now, I've already done a video showing you how you can make your own freshie beads, um, and I went into really great detail on my first video with these, so I will be sure to link that video down below. If you've never made freshies before, please, please, please watch that video first before you do this one, all right? If you didn't want to use a uh, beads that you soak yourself. You can buy these pre-cured beads from Stay Fresh with Peanut, and these are already scented and cured and ready to go. All right. And so what I like to do because I color all my beads individually is I like to measure them out in the cutters that they will later be baked in. So I have the perfect amount that I need, and then I will pour them into a little disposable cup and color them that way. Uh, I make little amounts of freshies at a time, so this process works for me. If I was making a large amount at a time, I would probably color a large amount of my beads first, and I probably wouldn't bother measuring them out like this. But since I'm doing two different scents and two different colors today, and I'm only making two freshies, this is how I like to do it. All right, so once we've got our beads measured out and we have them in the cups, we're going to color them using fluorescent mica pigment powders that I got from Simply Sarah's Custom Creations Micas. So the way I like to color these is just a couple, you know, scoops of the mica powder and mix it really well. You want to be careful you don't add too much because it won't all be absorbed during the baking process and you'll have a lot flaking off after they bake so don't add as much as i did i added one scoop too many here and you definitely don't need that much got them all colored i'm going to pour them back into the cookie cutters on a uh, non-stick baking sheet and this is a baking sheet that i've dedicated to freshies that's all i use this baking sheet for and I forgot to put in the roofing nails first. You want to use some roofing nails in there uh, so you can create a hole for your string to go in later. And then we're going to bake these at 350 degrees for eight and a half minutes. Baking times will vary based on your oven, so you'll want to make sure that you do a test run first. You'll know that your freshie is completely done baking when all the beads are done moving, but it still looks like beads. So you don't want them completely melted, but you also want to make sure that they've fully come together. I put mine outside for at least 20 minutes to cool before I take them out of the cookie cutters. They should be completely cool to the touch before you take the nails and the cookie cutters off. All right. So now that that's done, um, you'll want to just clean up any excess mica powder. Obviously, I used way too much because there's a lot of excess on there, but no big deal. Um, and then to attach the cardstock designs, I just like to place them over the freshie and try to determine where the hole is at. Then I'll use my hole punch to punch a hole. I didn't punch mine low enough on this one, but whatever. <laughs> and we're gonna use high temp glue, high temp hot glue to attach these. I like the Gorilla Glue one. Uh, and we're using an all temp glue gun. So it's got the high and the low setting and the all temp glue sticks from Gorilla Glue. So kick it into hot temp, use the all temp glue sticks. That's what you want. We wanna create a heat bond between the glue and the uh, aroma beads, okay? So everything should be on there nice and secure. I asked a lot how these do in a hot car, and they do fine. You just wanna make sure that they're not in direct scorching sunlight. So if you live in super hot climates, just put a note in there that they use these behind a sunshade in their car, and you don't wanna have these set against any kind of surface for any long period of time because they could possibly stain that surface, okay? I'm using some elastic cording that I got on Amazon to string these up, and you just push it through the hole, and then I'm going to use a like metal spacer bead that has a large hole to it as a decorative detail as well as like a way to keep this string looking a little more put together and 
I just thought it was like a cute, like professional touch, whatever. So um, once you get that all stringed up, we're just going to tie a simple knot at the end. I like to trim off any kind of excess elastic from my knot and then I melt the edges with a barbecue lighter just again to give it a nice long lasting professional touch. And oh my gosh, look at how cute. I just love these. Okay, so next for packaging, um, we're using the, I think these are called polypropylene bags. It's some kind of special plastic, I don't know. People had suggested these to me in the comments because the other bags that I had supposedly absorb or zap the scent out of these. I had not experienced that personally, but whatever. We'll just try these out. I think these are cute too. I just wrap them up in these bags and I put one of my little labels on there. I showed you guys how to create those labels in my first tutorial. So if you want to learn how to make those, but look at how cute. I love these for gifts. I think these are so much fun to give to my friends, have them around the house, put them in your car, wherever. I hope you guys love this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on Saturday. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.